Hey guys, today we are going to look at graphing linear equations. We're going to answer the question, how do I graph linear equations? So to graph lines or linear equations, first make sure that the equation is in slope-intercept form by solving for y. And then once you have it in slope-intercept form set equal to y, we will be able to identify the y-intercept. So we will start by plotting the y-intercept on the y-axis. And then we will identify the slope, the coefficient of x, and plot at least one other point with the slope. Then when we have at least two points, we can draw a line between the points and put arrows at the end. So most of your equations will be in y equals mx plus b form, but sometimes we will just have a y equals a number or an x equals a number. And you can use Hoy Vux to help you remember what to do with those special cases. So if you have y equals just a number, that basically is just going to be y equals the constant. So they gave you the y-intercept, and if there's no x, that means that invisible coefficient is zero. So it means we have a zero slope, so it's a horizontal line through the y-intercept. And then the VUX part stands for if you have an x equals equation, that is a vertical line with an undefined slope. So Hoy VUX can help us remember what to do with just a y equals equation and an x equals equation. Let's start with number one. It says graph y equals negative 2x plus 3. So this is in slope-intercept form. I can see what the slope is. It is negative 2. And then the y-intercept is 3. So let's start by plotting the y-intercept at positive 3. And then I have a negative 2 slope. I'm going to change this to a ratio of negative 2 over 1. That's equivalent to negative 2. Because whenever we graph our slopes, the numerator and the denominator tells us what direction to go. So to create a negative slope from my y-intercept, I can go up 2 and to the left 1, or I could go down 2 and to the right 1. So let's try that. From my y-intercept, I need to plot a negative 2 slope. So I'm going to start at the y-intercept, and I'm going to go down 2 and right 1. And it looks like that would be a negative slope, so I know I did it correctly. I'm going to plot a few more points with that pattern, down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. And then if we wanted to go the other way, we could too. We could go up 2 and left 1. So now I have more than enough points to be able to draw my line. All right, number two is also in slope-intercept form. Y equals 3 fourths X minus 3. My slope is 3 fourths. And then my Y-intercept would be negative 3. So let's start by plotting the Y-intercept at negative 3. And then I have a positive slope. So I can go up into the right with my positive slope, or I can go down into the left. There is not much room to go down into the left, so I'm going to go up into the right. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, right 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is all that will fit on this graph, which is fine. All I need is two points to be able to graph a line. All right, number three, I have my special case, y equals 3. This is the Hoy situation in Hoy bucks. This means that I have a horizontal line with a zero slope. And since this is y equals the constant, they did give me the y-intercept of three. So I can go ahead and plot that. My y-intercept is three. And then since it's just y equals, I know it's a horizontal line through that. All of the y values are three. Okay, number four, I have an x equals negative four. So this is the vux situation in hoy vux. So this means I have an x-intercept of negative 4. All of the x values are negative 4. I have a vertical line with an undefined slope, and it's going through x equals negative 4. So now let's just draw our vertical line through it. So x equals equations are vertical. Okay, number five, I want to graph this, but as you can see, this is not in slope-intercept form. So the first thing I need to do is solve for y so that I'll be able to determine the slope and the y-intercept in slope-intercept form. 
So let's start by getting the y by itself. So I want to subtract x, and then I get negative 3y equals, and I'm going to put negative x plus 12. I'm putting the negative x first since we want it to be in y equals mx plus b form at the end. Okay, now I just have one last step to get x by itself, and that is to divide everything by negative 3. So now the y is by itself, and negative x over negative 3. I want to write this part as a coefficient, because remember that's going to be the slope. So you could think of that as an invisible negative 1 over negative 3, which simplifies to 1 third x. And then 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. So now it's in slope intercept form and I can see that the slope is 1 third and the y intercept is negative 4. And now I can go ahead and graph this. I'm going to start with my y intercept at negative 4 and then I have a positive 1 third slope. So I'm going to go up 1 over 1, 2, 3. I guess I could also go down 1, left 1, 2, 3 from the y-intercept. And there is my graphed line. Let's look at number 6. So this equation is not in slope-intercept form. That's the first thing I need to do, convert it to slope-intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I get 4y equals negative 2x minus 8. And then the last thing I need to do to get y by itself is divide by 4. And I get y equals negative 1 half x minus 2. So the slope is the coefficient of x, which is negative 1 half. And the y-intercept, the constant, is negative 2. So I'm going to start by plotting my y-intercept at negative 2. And then I need to create a negative line through that. So from my y-intercept, I'm going to go down 1, right 2, down 1, right 2. And that's all I can fit on that side. I'm going to go back to my y-intercept. I can plot a few more points by going up 1, left 2, up 1, left 2. And there is the graphed line. Okay, number seven. I need to get y by itself, so the first thing I'm going to do is subtract x from both sides. And I get negative y, don't forget to bring down the negative, equals negative x minus five. And now I need to get this y isolated, so I'm going to remove that negative by dividing by a negative 1. And I get y equals x plus 5. So my slope is that invisible 1 in front of the x, and then my y-intercept is a 5. So let's start by plotting my y-intercept of 5. So from here to plot a 1 slope, remember that would really be like 1 over 1. So I could go up 1, right 1, that doesn't leave much room to go any further, so I can also go down 1 and left 1 from the y-intercept. And there is that equation graphed. Okay, last one, not in slope-intercept form, so first thing I need to do is subtract 2x from both sides. And I get negative y equals negative 2x plus 1. And then I'm going to divide by a negative 1. And I get y equals 2x minus 1. So my slope is... 2, but I want you to think of it as 2 over 1 for rise over run, and then my y-intercept is negative 1. So I'm going to plot my y-intercept at negative 1, and then I need to plot a few more points with this positive 2 slope. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, right 1, up 1, 2, right 1, up 2, right 1. 
And from the Y intercept, we could also go down to left one. And then draw our line through it. And there is Y equals 2X minus 1. 